Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created this uh, very simple roof. Okay, um, it's actually a very very simple roof, but in the recent of it, it needs a little bit of um, techniques to get it. Okay, because you can see the roof has this um, angle here. Okay, and we all know that we can't get this with slab, so and it can be only gotten by um, morph to and, and the roof. So I want to show you guys the, little, the simple techniques and how I got this shape. The same thing I did with this um, project. Okay, and the, the roof of this. So I want to show you guys how to go how to get this roof. This roof is called shared roof. Okay, I, I'm going to delete this right now and show you guys how I came up with this. But before I do, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification buttons so you don't miss videos like this. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always checking and watching our videos. Thank you so much. I'm going to delete this right now. Okay, so that we can start from scratch so we're going to go to the um yeah plan okay and uh, we have our uh elevation line already okay for but if you don't know where to get this elevation line you just i'm going to click it and delete it right now and then and draw another one go to your document and you see the elevation so just you know Draw it to the to the um, line of our building. I try to draw it the wrong way. When you draw it, you, you click the other part, but that is that's the part we want to see. This part. So that's the part we want to see. Make sure the angle is it's correct. If it's not correct, make sure it is correct. So that you we would get proper. Oof. So that's that for that. And we just shift it back. Okay. Can increase the length a bit. So uh, I'll, I'm going to fill this on the elevation right now and we are going to draw the fill. Okay, I'm going to start from here draw the field to this point let's draw the field to this point okay and make sure this one is selected too okay just draw the field to the point you want to make the 300, 300 um, thickness okay and you extend to the desired if, if you want to if you want I won't want to I want it to be quite intimidating okay so we are going to adjust this okay make it straight okay we we'll make it straight same thing goes let's make it straight okay since this is our point let's adjust this Do the same thing here. Okay. So uh it all depends the type of roof you want. If you want this place to be straight like this before you get your angle fine, all you just need to do is just create node. Create node, create node, 
okay create node and just drag this down to create that angle you want okay but if you don't want it like this you just okay let it flush so this is it and this is the fill this is a fill okay and then okay I want to make sure it's on top of this so this is a fill and just push it a bit so I'm going to fill this with a morph all you need to do is just activate your morph go to your um, design activate your morph and hold down your space bar and just click this space and this um, stuff right there the fill okay to fill it so that's it then you go to your 3d as you can see you just try to change the color to something that looks presentable okay and all we're going to do right now is pull it we are going to pull it okay i and we so I'm going to pull this right now just click the surface and pull okay make sure this is activated this this right here is activated okay pull and push just pull and push, pull it out, pull it out. Don't worry about the distance, pull it out. You can always cut it. So, we're going to just change the outline of that. Make this right. So We've gotten the shape right now so what is we need to get the shape right there this cut out so we are going to use the slab so but before we do that let's make sure our roof is straight so let's use our line to get the proper angle okay and we know we are if we want it to be one two so we're just going to make it one two and then shift this right there and and rotate it to fit our shape like that's fine so the same thing applies here okay Let's see. Okay, so this is, means we are going to call this. Okay, so the same thing we're going to do here also. Take the line, take the shape, take the actually this is because our building is not straight, so no matter how your building is, try to make sure you get it right. So, going to one two. So, shift it down there. Good. So, just shift this down here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing there. Okay, as you can see, this is um we need to we need to pull this out again. So we're going to pull it one more time. We are going to pull that side one more time. 
just click the surface and select this and then pull. Hmm? Just pull by let's say 1000. Okay, because I definitely want to trim it. Okay, now that's that. So we are going to trim these things right now. Just select, okay, and go to split. Click, drag the line, and cut. Okay, make sure you click the other side so that it record that spot. We are going to trim this out with a slab. Okay. So we are going to take and do a slab right here. Make sure it follow, follows the line and it exceeds the, the, the line of um, a move. And make sure this is straight, just this is following the line. Okay, so um, it's good that we have it like this. So we are going to use a um, solid and solid element operation. Then you just select. Okay, now make it first as so we we'll get target element, which is target, which is one, because we selected this is one. So we are going to get a point a quicker element, which is. So, so no which is we are going to get a point element get a point element okay start clicking just get just click get so it will it is true right so make sure this is subtraction so just execute just press execute so it has been executed so if you notice it has look at the outline there it has been repeated all you have to do is just close this and go ahead and hide this okay the layer let's go look for height and height somewhere here okay hide it good so now we have our shape which we know we can get with slab Okay, so we are going to the next thing we are going to do is get our roof. Okay, so I think it's time to delete, delete this. So I am going to get our roof. Click the roof. Make sure this is just a single plane, the single plane we want, and that. So. Um, you can click this so we are just going to get the angle first because this one we have to get the fold first and then trace trace the outline so since we have the outlines already we can just go ahead and drag drag Okay, we're just going to go to our elevation and, and work on the angle. Okay, click, right click, open with color view.
So we just drag it up. That was the first one we did for the just to drag it up to make sure it is on the stop right there and get your angle right. Go back, go to the back, click this, change your switch and okay. Uh, that's, that's fine. So we'll go back to the plan and add okay. Okay. So we are going to select our roof. If you're finding it difficult to select your roof, we just you can click tab. Okay, to take it to the next um, whatever that is under and delete it. So you're just going to increase the, 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 the offset a bit, maybe 50. And that's pretty much it. Okay, we have our wall here. We are going to just trim it very easy just click click the wall select the walls select just select the ones you want actually and right click connect trim element roof and then make sure this is selected use roof component selection use trim that's it so guys thank you for watching you have your roof right there very simple it looks simple but you have to have you have to use this certain techniques to get it so uh, thank you so much for watching so um thank you so much for watching you can you may want to add your card image stuff right there you know to give this roof some uh I uh, want you got some realistic feeling, okay? I've not set this, so I'm just going to just maybe put okay. There are a lot of things you can you have to set on the card image. Okay, we have different types, we have different types, styles, Spanish, flat. Let's just use this and say okay. As you can see. Giving your room different um, dimension, different feeling. Now you are appreciating. You can see the edges not totally straight like the other one. So you can see it makes it even look mature. So, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.